Yo guys, welcome to Ways World. We are back with episode two. I go by the name of Javan, and I go by the name of Ramel. And this week's subject is... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So this week's subject is, is it possible to pursue your dream while having a nine to five? Yes. That's the, that's the one. Yes, it is. All this, this, this whole topic, this whole discussion today is just all about. Forget about the money for a second. Is what you what you are doing every single day of your life, working or Monday to Friday, is that your dream? Mm. That's what it comes down to. So forget about finances right now. We'll get into finances. Like, obviously, that matters. You got to live. You got to pay the bills. You got yeah. to eat. But it's all about is your nine to five your dream? And if it's not your dream, then this this discussion's for you. Yeah. Just start the mentality. Mm. Start the mentality behind it. Mm. So obviously having a nine to five, having a job is important. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't. You, can, you want to build a business, especially if you want to build a solid, solid business or pursue a solid dream. Like I don't know if you want to be some sort of performing arts or some sort of athlete. Mm. It doesn't happen overnight. Mm. Like you don't get that big break overnight. So you have to have a job or you have to have some way of making money mm. legally. <laughs> so yeah. it's it's important. So how do we? So Jay, how do we? Keep the mindset of okay, this job is only a job. It's just 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 pay the bills. But at the same time, I need to stay focused on my dream. So when I've got my time outside of my job, how do you keep the mentality that that? How do I have to explain? It. So how do you keep yourself in a position where you're fo you're so focused that even when you're tired and you come back from your job, yeah, you still put the work into pursue your dream. But at the same time. You don't slack off at your day job and just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I it's think it's all about integrity and it's all about character. It is. I think it's all about productivity and time management. I feel like no matter what, whatever it is that you want to do, if you have something which is burning that deep to the point where you are pursuing it and you can see this for your life, then you're going to have enough coal in the fire to be able to keep you lighted, you know what I mean, and burning. So that is naturally going to keep you wanting to push forward and wanting to do what you do. Right. At that point, you've got a nine to five, so you're taking a certain amount of time out of your day to do that and to pursue that because you need money, which is what most of us do it for. But then you have your, your dream in which you're pursuing. At the start of when you're pursuing something, you don't have money coming from that dream of yours, yeah? yeah? So then you have to get to the place where you say, okay, well, I'm putting in all this time and I'm not getting any reward, but this is a long, long road. Like, don't get it twisted. If you ever get to the point where you feel like, oh, I've been doing this for ages and this is long and blah, 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 just stop, quit. It's not for you. Go and go, stay in your job, stay in at nine to five and do what you're doing because quite frankly, you have to be cut out in a certain way to be able to continue and consistently pursue something which is not paying you and mm. which is not giving you that reward. And, and w w one or two years is, isn't ages. No, oh, it's full. <laughs> one or two years isn't ages, all right? That, that's, that's baby steps. That's yeah. just, that's just, you're just laying the foundations. Yeah. One or two years. It, so, it, they say it takes you, it takes you uh, seven years in order to actually start to see some kind of fruit from that. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about like you're gonna be a millionaire or you're gonna be rich or you're gonna, like to start to see some kind of benefit yeah. from what you're doing. Like yeah. even when I started, um, when we started Man on the Wall, we started that now six and a half, nearly seven years ago. Crazy. We only started seeing some real promise and prospect about a year ago mm. when it comes to financial sustainability. Do you know what I mean? And, and there's so many people in which would quit during that time. But then I feel like there's also a, a, a thing in which you say to yourself, and which is, I don't have a choice. When you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice, which means yeah. that however long this is going to take, it's going to take, because if I don't take this long to do it, then... I'm not going to be doing anything, mm -hmm. and that's the that's the decision that you have to make, and yeah, that's, that's get, what's going to keep you there. Get, you need to get to that place where you'll pursue your dream or pursue your goal at any means necessary, mm. um, no matter the cost. You got you things you have to count the cost before you even start. You have to count the sacrifice that you're willing to make because you're not going to be able to have much of a social life. Mm. You're not going to be able to like go out with your friends and go on loads of holidays because yeah. you're not going to have the finances going on those holidays. You might do if you get a well-paid job, but you're not gonna. You need to reinvest that money into the business. Yeah. So it's like you're not gonna have the time either because the time that you have spare when you're not working, you need to be working mm. on your goal or dream. Mm. So you have to count the cost. There's loads of sacrifices for for everyone. It will be different mm. in every sphere or an industry. There's different sacrifices that you have to make because of the the type of work that you want to go into. Or and, something that you want. I'm sorry to, do. to cut you there, but mm. and that's why your why your W H 
why has to be big enough because that is what you go back to at the end of the day. When you're, when you're slaving away at work, you're doing your nine to five and you've had enough, you wanna go home, but you stay, yeah. you go back to your why. Yeah. Why am I gonna stay? Why am I doing this? Yeah. Or you're taking the, you've been at work all day, you've now got home at seven o'clock, you've got four or five hours before you have to start getting ready for bed. Those four or five hours, you can be sitting down watching Netflix, sitting down watching this, watching that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you have to get to the point where you say, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to crack on and work on what I want to pursue. But that why has to be big enough. Mm -hmm. All those times where you feel like, I want to quit, I want to stop, which most of you will, or most of us do, you then have to go back to your why. And whether it's that you, and your why could be whatever you want it to be, but it just has to be strong enough for you. It can be that you want money, you want to help your family, you want to provide for your kids, you want to be able to show off to your friends, whatever it is. I'm, you know, no one's here to judge you on your, what your why is, but that why has to be big enough yeah. and it has to motivate you mm -hmm. enough to want you to, to let allow you to pursue your dream yeah no agreed agreed the why is the why is the key the why is what keeps you going yeah the why is probably the why is the most important thing about life mm. you have to until you so i've also you've heard this quote you've mm. had everyone's heard the quote that says uh there are two most important occasions two most important days in your life mm. the first day is the day that you're born mm. the second day is the day that you find out why Mm. Those are the two most important days of your life, mm. and it's, it's. I believe that. I really believe in that quote because it's true. Once you realize the reason why you're on this earth, mm. it changes absolutely everything because you start to do everything on purpose. Yeah. You go to work for a reason. You go to you go to your nine to five knowing that you're there because you need finances or you need you need to get by. That's fine. That's that's the why. You know why you're doing it. So you get up and you go every day. When you come home and you're working for another, working for another four, five, six hours. Mm and you're tired, mm. your why is because you want to pursue your goal or your dream. And because you have that why, you don't mind being tired. Mm. You don't mind working, you don't mind missing out on, on, on functions or, or going out to, the, to, the, to a club or going out on social events just because you have a why, you have your reason, you have your purpose and you know that when you have your why and you're so focused, mm. the, 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 return, the return on that is speed. Mm. When you have a why, everything moves faster because you know why you're doing it. So that means that you're more focused and you get it done quicker. Mm. You're not faffing around, you're not doing any nonsense. You're not coming home and watching Love Island all day and then you're saying to your friends, I've got no time, get out of here, man. Like, all right, let's, let's, break down, let's break down time, yeah? Let's break down time. For those of you out there who say, I don't have enough time to pursue what I wanna do while maintaining my job, and even people that are older, which have families, I don't believe that there is any age. Obviously, yeah, you know, we, we live in the real world and there are responsibilities and there are things that you have to do. But at the same time, everyone has 24 hours in a day. Yeah, However you spend that 24 hours dic dictates where you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most of us, we sleep between seven and eight hours a day, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's eight hours gone out of your day. Now you have 16 hours left of your day. You're at a nine to five, let's say you're working mm -hmm. for Say eight hours. Say another eight hours you're working. Okay, ten. cool. So now you have 10 hours left, yeah? Mm -hmm. During those 10 hours, maybe you're traveling to and from work. Yeah. Right, let's take off another two hours. In which, during those, th those times in which you're traveling, you could still be pursuing your dream, doing whether it's emails, whether it's writing, whether it's creating, whatever that is. Unless you're driving. Yeah, but, but then, then you can be, be listening, thinking, listening to podcasts, podcasts. True, listening to, true, th there's true, no excuses, true, yeah? True. So after that, you have eight hours left, yeah? yeah? What are you now doing with those eight hours? Let's put it in, in a predicament of, okay, you've got family, you've got kids, yeah? Which a, a lot of you watching this maybe yeah. don't. So, so this is not an excuse for you. But if you do, okay, cool. Maybe you've got three, four hours with the family, you know, dinner, etc., etc. Then there's still four hours left. Mm -hmm. Four hours. Do you know how much you can get done in mm -hmm. four hours? Don't watch... Th th these shows that you're watching don't I, I don't know what you are doing on Instagram scrolling through your phone or in bed you wake up in the morning in bed and you scroll through your Instagram for 45 minutes looking at everyone's life thinking I want my life to be like yours I want my life to be like put hers. it down and work put it down and work how much is that adding value to your life and how much is that pointing you in the direction you want to be in those four hours you should be head down thinking how am I going to get ahead of the game how yeah. am I going to work this thing do you know what yeah. I mean? And though that is the difference. Mm -hmm. He who sits there and works those, those hours to make sure that he's adding that time to his life to build up, before you know it, you, you've got, you've got uh, four hours each day in which you're building up. Uh, you're looking at like 20 hours in, in, in a week, week and a half in which you've now added to your dream and added to your, yeah. to your life in which mm -hmm. you want to do everything you want to pursue, everything that you want to work for, rather than the next man who's sitting there and those four hours he's binge watching the next episode of Power. 
or Orange is the New Black or whatever it is. You can do all that stuff later. There's a time and a place. Right now, you have to get down to work. You have to get bro. down and do what you need to do because later on, time's gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. 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 That's it. That's it. Put down Netflix. Put down Xbox. Put down PS4. Put down Love Island and On Demand, whatever you're watching. Yeah. And go work. Yeah. Just go work. What are you man? waiting for? Like, there's time. You've got time to pursue your dream. Yes, it's going to take longer because you don't have a whole 24 hours to do that. But we've all got the same 24 hours. Yeah. And we've all, had, we've all had the process of having to get by yeah. and eat and pay bills yeah. to get there. So there's no excuses. And understand that time... Time is a currency. Time is the most valuable currency in the world. Time is the one thing in life that you can't get back. If you look at time like money, people have uh, money problems where they say to themselves, okay, I can't save enough money, yeah? Those people are making a load of money, but they're always broke. Why is that? Because you're not utilizing the money which you're making. You're not putting enough aside. You're not spending it wisely. That's the same with time. You have all of that time that you get in a day, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. How are you spending that time? How are you spending that currency? What are you doing with that? Are you wasting it? Are you giving it away and flossing it in the club and, and spending it on nothing? Or are you investing it in something in which is gonna help you to pursue the life and, and, and everything you want for your family, for your kids, for your friends. And, 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 and that is what you really have to look at. Yeah. Start looking at time as a currency because you're not just out here giving it your friends 20, 30, 40 pounds just for the sake of it. So why are you giving people 20, 30, 40 minutes of your time for the sake of it? Mm -hmm. That's even more valuable than money. But yet you're, 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 you're willing to give that away, but you're not willing to give away money. Correct. It doesn't make any sense. Start yeah. looking at the priority. Start thinking about what you're actually spending. Time is one thing that you can't afford to spend wrong. Because yeah. you can't get that back. No. That's good. That's real good. That's real, real good. And to this, I'm, I'm not even saying this from a place of, uh, holy, like, we're be I'm better than you. Because I used to play a hell of a lot of PS4. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play a hell of a lot of PS4. Yeah. But, but I understood that and I didn't complain about life. Mm. It's, it's my choice. It's like, and I'm sure there's people, I've, I've people out there, I'm sure, you spend a lot of time, if you, if you want to watch loads of series, if you want to binge series and stuff, and you're happy, cool. Like, Be my guest. That that's, is, that's, that is cool. Yeah. Like, if you're not complaining about life, then that's cool, man. Like, let's not get it twisted. We're talking to those people who are unhappy. Mm -hmm. Not who, if you watch all of that and you spend all your time on whatever you want to do and trash out, cool. And you're happy about that? Cool. Yeah, like, Thank you. you. There's another person, there's another sister or brother out there that's enjoying life. That's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. But if you're sitting there and you're thinking, I'm not doing what I want to be doing and I'm not getting out of life what I want to be getting out of life, that's when you need to look at your situation, at how you're spending your time and really think, what am I doing with it? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. So, people that have a nine to five, people that are working and as we all know, it is difficult to uphold the two and you know, really focus our time and energy on pursuing our dream. How do you make sure that you don't get lost within that nine to five that you're pursuing? Because a lot of people, they get into a nine to five, yeah, I wanna do this to fund my dream. And then they get to a point where they realize this is all too much. Before you know it, two, three, four years later, mm -hmm. they're in that same Mark Suspenser's job or yeah. whatever it is, top man or retail recruitment. And they realize that, hold on a minute, four of my uh, years of my life have gone past and I haven't actually made any steps towards my dream and my goal. How do you stop yourself from getting into that point? Or if you are already in that point, how right. do you get yourself out of it? So what I believe is that I believe that it all comes down to focus. Mm -hmm. I believe that you've lost your focus and you have a lack of it, hence why you've got drawn into the nine to five way of living. Because mm -hmm. if you're focused on your goal and your dream, you're so focused on that, you, don't, you wouldn't even have the mind space to get drawn into that. Mm -hmm. So I think you need to just uh, rekindle that burning desire in your heart to pursue that dream and whatever you need to do so that might be listening to certain podcasts that get you going or it's um, following certain people online that are doing what you're doing and maybe maybe they do vlogs or maybe they don't or maybe you follow them on Instagram so you see what they're doing and it just gets that desire going again so because you want that but you're just surrounding yourself in that but you have to have, have it in front of you 24 7 mm. whether that means that you, you need to write down your goals and your dreams and read it out to yourself twice a day before mm. as soon as you get up in the morning sorry and before you go to bed in the evening. Mm. That way it keeps you focused. You're so focused because it's in front of you 24 seven. So you're so focused on it. You don't have the time or the space in your mind to get distracted. Mm. What's your thoughts? I think a big thing as well is belief. 
Do you believe that whatever it is that you want to pursue, you can actually pursue and achieve? Because at the end of the day, if I don't believe that I can do something, then it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how much work, how much effort, how much energy I put into that thing, I don't believe that I can do it, yeah. so I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So that, be that, that belief and, 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 and how you can build that belief to the point where you, you do believe that you can do it, and, and once you believe something, you believe that there's another way out, you know and you work towards doing that. That comes with affirmation, that comes with convincing yourself. You know, like, have you ever been in a position where you told a little white lie? And, and it starts to escalate and you lie to yourself so much you even you start to believe your own lie now that works exactly the same way when it comes to a belief something that you believe something that you think is true about yourself the more that you tell yourself that it can happen the more you tell yourself that it's going to happen mm -hmm. is the more that you believe that it's going to happen mm -hmm. and once you believe that that gives you the power and the energy to be able to execute whatever it is that you want to do you need that drive you need that energy to be able to pursue that so when you're in this nine to five and you're in a place where okay cool i'm pursuing this i'm doing this i think take baby steps start looking at it and saying okay well now what time do i have still do the nine to five still we have to make money we have to live but it's, and we have to fund our dream but at the same time okay this time in which i do now have this four hours in which i have every day to be able to allocate to something how am i going to work that towards what i want to be doing and it's about looking at that and really just kind of locking everything away locking everything out and starting to take baby steps and what happens is which is like what, exactly what you said um episode one execution shrinks fear so the more that you start to execute is the more that you're going to build up your tolerance and your sustainability to be able to continue to do whatever it is that you believe that you can do. And once you get to that place, before you know it, you fall in love with that dream. You fall in love with that thing in which you're pursuing. And bang, you then you then don't have to think about what it is that you want to do or or trying to you know gear yourself up to doing it. You're just doing it because yeah. you love it. You want it. You believe it. You know you can do it. Yeah, that's good. Graft is the key. Mm. Yo. You gotta deep this, yeah? You have to grind. Nothing, tell me one person that's successful that hasn't been on some kind of reality show or hasn't won the lottery that hasn't put in hard work. Mm -hmm. No one. You will not find a person because whether it is that you're doing your, your, your dream full time or you're doing a nine to five and you're pursuing that while you're doing your dream, to, to do that is even harder. So there's no time. But what you have to understand is that you're going to get to the point where you're grafting, you're grinding yeah. so much that there is no time for anything. And that's a sacrifice that you have to make. You have to say to yourself, I am willing to be tired for as long as it takes for me to make it. Mm -hmm. And I think so, I'm, not even, I'm not even trying to glorify the whole no sleep thing. So it's like there will be some nights where you won't get much sleep, some nights. But I'm not going to encourage anyone to try and bleach it constantly. There'll be some nights where you need to get eight, nine hours to catch up or 10 hours even, like maybe on a weekend if you have to, because it's not about, I wouldn't say, even say that it's about having a lack of sleep. It's more so about using the time that you have productively mm. in your evenings and weekends. Mm. So a lot, of, a lot of people that are entrepreneurs or want to be entrepreneurs, they're like glorify, oh, I've had, I had three hours sleep last night and they do it every night. It's just like, <laughs> that's just stupid. It's just dumb. Like three hours sleep, we can do like it might happen once or twice, like, twice every now. And then. It might happen every now and then. Yeah. But to do that every single night, you're just thick. Yeah. Don't come to me with that nonsense. Like you need sleep. Like let's you're not, not be productive with that, are you? Let's not get it twisted. It's ridiculous. Like, when it comes to sleep, that it, I can't function without sleep. I need between five and eight hours. Otherwise, I can't function. So when you have people that are, you know, saying they get three or four hours sleep. Good luck to you. I don't yeah, function I in that six way. Hours, bro. Like it's anything, it's not it's not working for me. Do you anything, know what I mean? Anything less than six hours, oh, it's not, it's not it's, working. It's, yeah. still. it's not it's not happening. See, look, I'll give you I'll give you an example of you know just being in a point where you you feel like you need to make a decision and people around you are telling you not to do something. So when we started Man on the Wall six years ago, it, we then came to the point where we were making a transition to the wall of comedy. Everything around us at the time said don't do that mm -hmm. yeah that's the wrong thing to do do you know what will happen if this do you know what happened if that manimal was doing so well but at the same time there was something within me that said no this has to be done now mm -hmm. and everything is against the odds and, and and you just have to really you know listen to your gut because that's the only thing that 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 tells you that that's the right thing to do because everything around you could be swaying that way but if you've got that one little thing and it's it's a piece within you that says to you, no, do it. Yeah. You listen to that. 100%.
That's your intuition. Hundred and ten percent. Hundred and ten percent. So, when would you say like, I want to help these people in regards to I want to help people mm. just in regards to when the right timing is for them to take that leap for them to maybe sack their boss. Mm. Love that saying. Mm. Sack their boss, quit their job, and take that leap of faith for them to go full time. Mm into their dream, full time into their goal, full time, full time into pursuing whatever they want to pursue. Where, when is the right time? Steve Harvey, uh, he had an analogy where he was talking about when you're in a plane, okay? All right. You're in a plane and, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever been skydiving, but when you go skydiving, they say to you, are you ready? Three, two, bam, and then they push you. They don't wait for you to go uh, to, to the one because most people, they hold on to the, right. to, the, to the doors of the plane just before it. And that is all about you're never really ready for it. If they said to you, are you ready now? On three, two, one, the mm. likes are, you're probably gonna say, no, 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 I don't wanna go. No, of course not. But when you get pushed, then when you go out there into the sky and you're falling and you're mm. falling and you're falling, there's a split second of fear in which you have. And that split second of fear, it tells you, oh, this is, this is, this is the bad, this is it's bad. The, it's the unknown, it's the it? unknown. It's the unknown, the fear of the unknown. And then you realize, hold on a minute, I'm flying. I'm flying. Yeah. And then, then, boom, you pull the parachute and then you're gliding. But had you have not jumped out of that plane, had you had not had that kick at number two, you would have never even realised that you could skydive. Hmm. Yeah, it's true. But there's some clarity to that. When you're dropping out of the plane, you're not flying, mate, you're dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Until you pull that parachute, fam. And then, and, and then you're gliding. Yeah. Without that parachute, you're dropping, fam. Yeah. And that's, but that's what it feels like. It, <laughs> that's right, it feels like. And that one thing comes along. That that, yeah. that that financial support, that no, true. that contact, whatever things, it is, that things, parachute things comes. Things work itself yeah. out, it's yeah. weird. Yeah. Things work itself out. And when you're making a decision, I always, uh, I, I think intuition and gut instinct trumps logic. Mm. So when I'm making a decision, for me, it's always 60% gut instinct and true intuition, 40% logic. That's how I make my decisions because mm. of course, you can't be silly with it now. You need to have some wisdom and you need to have some logic behind it you can't, mm. be, you can't be acting like a complete idiot yeah. and taking those ridiculous risks mm. but at the same time you have to take risks mm. so if you feel like you need to take that risk in your gut 60% intuition and gut 40% logic that's me mm. you might not want to everyone has their own way of dealing with things but intuition wins yeah. intuition wins Yeah, 110% I agree completely 110% so I think to round it up, what would your key be for those people who are doing a nine to five and they are wondering how to also pursue their dream? Yeah. Wrap it up for me. What would you say is your major key? Focus. Focus. You, you, you have to focus on patience. So you have to be in this for the long haul. Mm. It's not going to happen overnight. Even if you're doing it full time, it's still mm. going to happen overnight. Mm. So it's just like, why not have the, you're going to be a bit more tired. Yes. But are you? Mm. Because you're going to have the enjoyment of having some finances while having a job, mm. first of all. And, but you'll still be able to, still, you're still able to pursue your dream. Mm. So it's like, it's how you've got to see it. You've got to see it as, you can either go do it full time and have the stresses of financial, like, stresses behind you. And you're still going to take years to build a dream, possibly. Mm. Or you can have a 9 to 5 and have a job, but have the finances there so you can live life. And then be a little bit more tired, but still be able to pursue your dream. Mm. So there's pros and cons to it, man. There's pros and cons to it. But the thing is, even if you was doing it full time, you're not going to be less tired mm. because you're still going to put the same amount of hours in because you still have to work overtime. Mm. Even if you've got all the time, even if you've not got a day job, you still, you still have to work evenings and weekends to make your dream happen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, otherwise it's not going to happen. Mm. So whether you're working nine to five or not, the same amount of hours will be used. Mm. So yeah, that's yeah. for me. It's just, it's just like patience and focus. Be focused. Mm -hmm. Focus on the fact that you're gonna, it's going to work. It's going to be built. It's going to come. But it takes time. Patience. Mm. Patience. You've got to be in this for the long haul. You've got to be in this for the 10, 20 years. That's how you've got to look at it. Yeah. Like, you don't have overnight successes. Mm. They call you an overnight success when they found out about you. Mm. But it's not an overnight success. It takes years. Mm. So, Jay, what's your, <sighs> what's your key? What's your, what's your, no more DJ Khaled nonsense. But if you watch episode one, you'd understand that. If you didn't, go watch it. Um, but what's your major key for these people that, for, for people that feel like, I'm still in that position, so what's your major key? My major key would be, 
My major key would have to be so I'm sorry I'm gonna have to word this. My major key would have to be honesty. Okay. Why I say that is because it's two things. Go on. Number one, you have to be honest with yourself and work out whether or not you are the type of person in which is cut out to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. Because some people just aren't. Mm. And you can't kid yourself. Like we said earlier, you are going to have to grind and bleed and sweat and tears in order to get to where you want to be. Sacrifice so much to be where you want to be. I didn't go to his wedding. Oh, for real, you didn't, did you? Like, yeah, and, yeah. And, and these are these are things in which, like, that was one of the hardest decisions that I had to make. But at the same time, you kind of get to a point where you realise, okay, uh, that's that's a life-changing moment and, and, and everyone wants to do those things. But at the same time, in the next 10 years, I'm going to be able to make it up to him. I'm going to be able to make it up to all of my family and all of my friends of those key moments in which I may miss in order to have a better life. And in order to pursue what I want to pursue, do you know what I mean? Because, like, you you have to you have to be ready to do what you need to do. Stop watching Netflix twenty four seven. Stop going out with your friends twenty four seven. Take that time and bleed. Take that time and do what you need to do to be able to make it. Take those hours that you've got in in your day and spend it as if it were money. Spend it wisely. Spend it executor. Yeah. Spend it wisely. And when everyone says to you they don't have the time, they are lying. Everyone has the same amount of time. If Richard Branson can run all these companies or Simon Cow can do all these different things, they, they have the same amount of time in a day that you have. When you're doing, you're, you're doing college or you're doing your little nine to five, or you're doing your little this or your little that. We're all doing our little this and our little that and we're all complaining about not having the time. We have the time. We have the money. It's how you spend it. So make sure you spend your time wisely in order to pursue what you mm -hmm. want to pursue because there are no excuses. It's true. It's true. So, so to wrap it up, thank you for watching this episode of Wade's World. Hope you've enjoyed some insight into yeah. the idea of uh, pursuing your dream or having a nine to five. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Please, Please comment yeah. below and tell us what do you think mm -hmm. the key is to be able to have a nine to five and still pursue your dream. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? What do you think? Make sure you share it with your friends as well this video, give them some insight, just get it out there, man. We want to build a massive community to just, you know, help each other to pursue their dream. So, this has been Ways Love. I am Javan. I'm Ramel. And we are over and out. See you soon.